25 laps the distance championship main event for the Chase Excavation Roadrunners is underway. Look at Jason Dick in car 22X field scrambling behind them. Short cut Cody Parker looks like he's going to lead lap number one. Cody Parker takes the lead in the 11 and he's going to lead lap number one. Jason Moby Dick sitting in the second spot. Now Dick going to look low on Cody Parker for the top spot. Melinda McCarthy battling for the third spot with her nephew Tyler Chase in car 64. Jimmy Renfrew Jr. in the double zero now trying to make some ground up, up into the fourth spot now. Renfrew Jr. underneath Chase battling for that fourth spot. Renfrew Jr. is around now. Billy McCarthy involved. Caution flag on the speedway. So heartbreak a little bit there for Jimmy Renfrew Jr. as he was making some daring moves and he was all the way up the fourth and then went around and he'll have to start tail. And Paul Wainwright is up into the fifth spot now, your point leader in the 27th. Racing next time by three down, 22 to go. Cody Parker, your leader in the 11. Jason Moby Dick, second, third. Melinda McCarthy, fourth is the 64 of Tyler Chase. And rounding out the top five as they run, Bob Williams in the 41. Green flag set to fly. Chase Escalation Roadrunners back in the way. Jason Dick on the outside groove, gets the lead around Cody Parker. Parker settles back into the second spot. Melinda McCarthy now gonna go to work on him. Goes to the high side of Cody Parker on the front straightaway and she's looking to take over the second spot. Wayne right now is around the 64 of Tyler Chase. Move him up into fourth. Bob Williams gonna follow suit in car 41. Look at Dan Sweeney now in car number 12. Sweeney ducks to the bottom side on Tyler Chase. He's gonna bring Billy Osborne with him in car 55. Point leader Paul Wayne right now all the way up into the third position, sitting pretty good right now. Fourth, Bob Williams, and now fifth is Dan Sweeney in car number 12. Sweeney brings Billy Osborne with him. Osborne up into the sixth spot now. Melinda McCarthy feeling the pressure now for the second spot with point leader Paul the Wheelman Wayne right in car number 27. Wayne right in the 27 is around Melinda McCarthy and up into the second spot. All he has to do is stay there and he'll win the championship for 2016. Wayne Wright unsatisfied with the Sitting in the second spot, now he's gonna go to work on your leader, Jason Dick in car 22X. Wayne right to the outside groove now. Wayne right up high in car 27. Jason Dick trying to hang on down low in car 22X. Battle for the third spot as well. Bob Williams in the 41 and Melinda McCarthy in car number 30. At the line, their leader was Paul the Wheelman Wainwright, but now Jason Dick takes it back in car 22X. Dick hanging tough on the bottom side, car 22X. Paul Wainwright still right there. Really close at the line that time between the 27 and the 22X. Bob Williams up into the third spot now. Now Wainwright getting the advantage on the outside groove of Jason Dick. Still side by side for the top spot. This time by halfway home, 13 down, 12 to go. 13 down, 12 to go at the line and it's Paul Wainwright by a bumper. 
Bob Williams sliding up the top side. That's going to give the third spot to the 12 of Dan Sweeney. Where is Paul Wainwright going now? Wainwright gets into some trouble with lap traffic and he loses a bunch of spots. Wainwright's in trouble. Wainwright in serious trouble now in car 27. Problems for the 27, your point leader, Paul Wainwright. Oh man, what a heartbreak for Wainwright. Off the racetrack, and there goes the championship for Paul, the wheelman Wainwright, car 27. Jimmy Renfrew Jr. headed pit side too as well. Unbelievable storylines in this one. Not sure what is going on right now in the Roadrunner main event, but there's a battle for the top spot. We know that. Look at the mad scramble now. Look at that. Jason Dick bobbing and weaving and hangs on to the lead. Bob Williams in the second spot now. Third is Dan Sweeney in the 12. Fourth now is Billy Osborne in the 55. A dramatic turn of events there. Sweeney's takes the second spot from Bob Williams. Bob Williams third now. And Osborne fourth. What is going on in the Roadrunner main event here tonight? Paul Wainwright in the 27 car had that car rolling up to the edge of the track now. Five to go at the line this time by five laps to go. For your leader, Jason Dick, five to go at the line. One, two, three in a line for the top spot right now. Jason Dick hanging on for dear life in car 22X. Now Bob Williams goes to the outside of the 12 of Dan Sweeney. Intense racing for the top spot. Paul Wainwright rolling now down pit road in car 27. Side by side for the second spot now. Bob Williams trying to make something happen on the outside group. Rookie competitor Jason Dick hanging on for dear life in car 22X. Popsicle sticks in the air this time by two laps to go for your leader, Jason Moby Dick. Can he hang on or does Dan Sweeney have something for him? Two to go at the line. Now Bob Williams to the outside one more time on Dan Sweeney trying to make something happen in the closing stages of the Chase Excavation Roadrunner main event. White flag in the air, Sweeney looks low, Jason Dick guards the bottom side, coming to the white flag. Bob Williams right there as well, down the back straightaway for the final time, what's going to happen? Here we go. Williams tries the outside groove. Checkered flag is in the air, and it's gonna fly for Jason Dick at the line. Second to Sweeney, third to Bob Williams, fourth to Billy Osborne, and fifth to the 30 of Melinda McCarthy. So we'll find out who unofficially is your champion in the Roadrunners. An unbelievable story storyline in that one as well. You'd think there's a full moon tonight the way things are going. Big round of applause for this guy tonight. Career win number one for car number 22X, Jason Moby Dick. Well, Jason, what a run that was for you. You held off the hungry wolves behind you. You did what you had to do, protected that bottom line, and they didn't get you on the outside, and you pull into victory lane for your first win. Tell us how you feel right now. Uh, I don't know what to say, actually. Uh, I'm actually speechless um, for the first time. It was good. Um, you know, you sit in front, you know they're all coming. And uh, the car's awesome tonight. It's uh, been a work in progress. hasn't been easy. Um, but, you know, hey, persistence beats resistance, and we're here. We're not going anywhere. <laughs> all right. You got anybody else you'd like to thank down here tonight? Oh, yeah. Watts, uh, Storis, Construction, uh, SCAF, Refrigeration, uh, all the fans. You see they're pretty loyal. Uh, all the guys, JR, Jim, Justin, uh, everybody. I don't know what to say. All right, a good win for this guy. Career win number one for Jason Moby Dick in car 22X. Another good run for this kid. Ricky competitor comes home second. Car number 12, Dan Sweeney. Well, Dan, you tried all you could there, but we know how you race week in and week out, and you don't use that bumper as much as a lot of the other people in this division, and you come home with another solid finish to show for yourself. Oh, uh, yeah, it was a rookie good run. Um, I'm glad he could get the win on the last race. Um, it was awesome. 
racing with him. Um, I didn't want to give him the bumper because, you know, I don't really need to. If he wants, you know, if he can get the win, then I'll let him get it. So um, I'd like to thank PJ, my dad, mom, um, Malcolm, Mercedes, everyone who helps out in the car, Nina, um, uh, you, Dave, um, mug shots in the mall. Um, what? Sullivan Construction. And that's it. <laughs> All right, second spot tonight, Dan Sweeney in car number 12. And coming home in the third spot tonight, car number 41, Bob Blow em Up Williams. Well, Bob, you tried your heart out there on that outside groove. She didn't do too much. It didn't look like dirt tracking just a little bit on that outside groove. But you put on a good show, and you get a podium finish. Pretty good. Uh, it almost rolled over last week at Hudson, but uh, it's i got to just fix it a little bit. But the car's pretty good, and I'm pretty happy with it, so I'm good. All right, third spot tonight, car number 41, Bob Williams. And your 2016 Roadrunner champion, car number 27, Paul, the wheel man, Wainwright. Well, Paul, I was all confused up top there. You went off the track, then Jimmy went off the track, but unofficially you are the 2016 champion. Tell us how this one feels for you. I'm just glad the season's over. I'm no more counting points and you know, trying to figure out who's leading. But uh, it was a great season. I got to thank everybody I raced with this year. Uh, from Jimmy all the way to the Parkers and the McCarthy, Sweeney, everybody. Uh, it was just a great season. I got to thank Chase Excavation for you know sponsoring us out here, giving us a nice trophy, giving us a good place to race. Uh, I got to thank my sponsors. I got to thank Roy Stop and Go, d and Graphics, Frams Auto, everybody down at the shop. Uh, I got to thank my family for coming out and supporting me. I got to thank, I got to thank Caitlin, obviously. Which is amazing, but uh, <laughs> but uh, yeah, I got a little hairy at the end there. I, you know, I wasn't sure if he was pulling off the track, and then yeah, I just decided to go around him, and it didn't work out. And uh, I got really lucky there. I got to thank everybody down to pits for swapping that tire out in uh, about a minute flat, maybe, um, and then being able to come back out here and have fun. All right, your 2016 Chase Excavation Roadrunner Champion Paul, the Wheelman Wainwright.